sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy! Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Hmm. Sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. What is happening, Mike Daniels and Spider-Man fans? I am back. It's been a while since I've done commentary for this uh, particular series. Uh, it's been a busy couple of weeks for me. I got a job, uh, for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, and, uh, you know, heard about my job issues. Uh, my back's getting better, and a lot of stuff's been going on with me lately. I've been getting out of the house more, trying to... Uh, not take advantage of the things that are, well, trying to, for once, not not take advantage of the things that I'm able to do when I'm healthy. Um, I'm not entirely healthy yet, but it's getting better. And, uh, real quick, while I, you know, stealth take down these guys at this recycling center, uh, I am officially canceling my Madden series. And here's why. Uh... There is too much going on in my life to justify trying to continue the Madden series when there's other things I want to do for this channel, like continue Arkham Knight, which I know I said last week that Arkham Knight was going to start again, and uh, unfortunately things didn't work out that way because of the aforementioned things, and since currently I'm not even remotely close to being big enough on YouTube to actually make money from doing it, uh, it's going to have to take a backseat okay, to other fun. things. Um, so I think, and I know I've changed my mind on this numerous times on this channel, but I think for right now, my goal is going to be one series at a time. Uh, Batman will not start back up again until probably after, uh, Spider-Man is done. But I don't know for sure, but right now I think it's going to be a one, uh, one series a uh, a channel kind of channel and um, we'll kind of go from there so and I don't mind talking over this particular part of the that's going on in this game because I this is pretty simplistic basically all that's going on right now with Spider-Man is he's trying to open up this door and for some reason I shot the same one twice thinking it would do something when clearly Spider-Man said that it wouldn't so yeah <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, that's my current update on what's going on. Um, I've even stopped filming the the Madden stuff. I just almost there. One more box to do it. You know, I, I think a lot of what it is is with Madden in particular is the ways I'm canceling the series. Is there's a lot going on for one. It's hard for me to do the commentary for it. Um, for two, uh, I'm not good at this Madden, like at all. And the only way I can really have good games is if I play on pro difficulty, which I know a lot of people aren't going to like the idea of someone playing on pro difficulty. And I I don't feel like I've ever found the perfect balance for pro as far as sliders go. 
And with that said, I just think it would be a less entertaining series than me riffing on these games. Which again, the only reason this commentary is post uh, post gameplay is just because there was an issue with me recording live commentary um, because I screwed up as I said a few episodes ago. So. Um, as much as I am really kind of upset that Spider-Man turned out the way that it did as far as me not having the live com, uh, I think maybe possibly this half the series may end up being better because I can do more editing this way. The plot thickens. And, you know, I can still riff off what's going on on the screen. Uh, so there's that. Um, but I do want some opinions on whether you liked this series better whenever I was uh, doing it live or doing it post. So let me know, because if you guys like it better when I do it post, I will do it post from now on. Or, you know, maybe I'll do some episodes that are live, some episodes that are post, depending on what happens in the episode. So... Like, since I, I edit the episode in its entirety -tech equipment. before I do the commentary for it. Weapons of my own. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Don't I'm tell her that, I'm Peter. Running. She'll never let it go. My God. Sorry. And it looks <laughs> like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. So anyway, yeah. Uh, let me know, because it might depend on the series. Make it quick. I'm busy or the episode. My boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Well, anyway. Uh, so yeah. Um... I'm really looking forward to finishing this series. It's just going to take some time. Uh, like, the editing of this episode, I think, is one of the best edits I've done as far as the opening for this one with the uh, the, dram the dramatic hold opening. So, yeah, I want your guys' opinion on what editing is like, so... Consolidated shipping. Yeah, I, I really want to know what you guys think oh, of the it's commentary but also with style. that has been done, whether it be live, post. I want to know what you think about the editing style when it was live and post, because, like, like I said before, I can use that stuff I found and in the recycling center. Here you see the next gadget that I get. I can't remember what this one actually is called. Um, mainly because I'm sitting so far with my TV and I'm watching it at small. So, um, because the editing program I use is strange, and whenever I'm doing commentary, it has a big recording symbol on the right, and like the the gameplay is like a and fifth of the screen, so I can't read like. <laughs> small text from where I am, so I don't remember what that technology is called, or that gadget is called, but I don't think I ever actually end up using it, which just goes to show how little I cared about it. Um, by this point in the game, I pretty already much decided what my main gadgets were going to be, and here you see me trying to figure out how to use the trip mines again. I was not uh, I was not very good at the trip mines at this point, so I, I get better with them later, but anyway. So... Um, yeah, like, it's, it's definitely very interesting as a content creator having to deal with these trials of, you know, now that my commentary has been ruined by my own negligence to check out my setup that, you know, I have to, in a sense... Um, sleep it off. Improvise, 
and I'm not sure if my solution was better than the original product. And I think that's what I'm looking for feedback on. And, you know, I know a lot of people, again, who are watching this are friends of mine and uh, aren't people who just subscribe to my channel because they happen to stumble upon it. And that's how things are probably going to be for a long time, if not forever. Um, but I really do enjoy doing this YouTube thing. It, it really kind of helps me kind of unwind from how things can be in life. And I think that's what's most important. It gives me something else to focus on besides, you know. <laughs> I remember this. This is pretty funny. I totally miss. <laughs> I didn't get caught in the process. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so, you know, um, but with that said, for those of you who are watching this and our friends or family or whatever, um, probably my friends and family who are gamers, which is probably more my friends than my family, but regardless, like, if you guys like what you're seeing, if you guys really want to help me out, like, give me a shout out, like, uh, I would really appreciate it. And the only way I'm going to get better is through feedback. Because right now, the only thing that I'm going off of is what I'm seeing. And the way I'm doing things. And yeah, like doing it this way helps me learn uh, like what I'm doing wrong. So, like I'll add an episode. And like there have been some episodes of even this series that I haven't been entirely happy with. Like there was one I cut entirely because I was like, okay... The live commentary isn't good, and the, the gameplay is repetitive. It was, you know, a, a, a base. So I cut the entire episode, and because nothing happened. I mean, it was just a, a bunch of me fighting bad guys and being stupid. That's like, it, that's what it was. So, and I think, you know, like, earlier in this series, I did a whole couple episodes on me swinging around doing backpacks and getting radars, and, like... I don't know if that was the best idea. Like, I wanted to show off the game. I thought it was kind of a cool idea, but, like, looking back on it now, like, I would never have shown those episodes now. And I'd probably be much further to the game on this channel right now as it is if I hadn't done those episodes. So, like, I can learn some of what I don't like from doing this myself. This bigger than I thought. But not it's everything like about this content creation and product thing is necessarily what I want. It's what you guys want, too. And what people want to see. So, without help, I'm never gonna know. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. <laughs> I actually missed that the first time. That's funny. Um... Yeah, here you see me completely ignore what the thing is telling me on the side and find out that, hey, nothing works on these guys. Like, it literally just out of the side of the screen. Hey, your gadgets don't work on these guys. You have to find other ways to beat them. And here I am still trying to shoot the guy with webs. Because <laughs> I'm brilliant. So, uh... But that's another thing, too, that, like, I took away from doing this series and filming the gameplay for it is that I was so pressured in my own head to make everything about this good so I was overthinking some things I missed parts of the story because during my live com I was trying to be funny or clever or whatever you want to call it um, to make it more entertaining but I missed things like, there's a whole scene toward the end of the game that I don't know how it got from point A to point B because I was gabbing the entire time. And, uh... I mean, it wasn't, like, a major plot thing that I missed. It was just, like, something that I was like, okay, what just happened? Like, <laughs> you know? And to me, that's, that's, you know, that's not cool. Like, I don't... I don't want that. So... Um, I, I just want to know what you guys think is best for my channel moving forward with, you know, possibly more series, because I do have a series planned after I finish Arkham Knight um, that I think would be another fun one to do. I have actually a couple series planned. But obviously, a lot of them are going to be, like, not games like Madden. At least not until next year. If I do Madden, it'll be next year. 
uh, or later, uh, um, later in Madden's life cycle, uh, if I can figure out how to get better at the game. Um, and I'd probably just start a whole, a whole new rebuild series in the Packers one. Um, I also might do the long shot uh, storyline, the the single player kind of story alternate game mode in Madden on here too. But um, yeah, I have a few games planned. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. Easy, Hydra. That's not how we do things. Down. This is America. That's exactly how we do things. Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. They're Iron Man with guns. Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Hey, look, it's bootleg Black Widow. I really hope my best friend never sees this episode because he would probably kill me for what I just said. <laughs> for some reason, I remember him liking Silver Sable. Oh, sorry, spoiler. That's Silver Sable. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, Kazunheit. private security force, paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now. Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. No, oh, don't tease. We'll talk later. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> yes, run away from bootleg Black Widow. <laughs> Anyway, I totally forgot what I was talking about before that scene started, and I started to quiet down, but yeah. Um. Hey, sorry about that stable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Right, other game is planned. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk about that next episode. So I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. You're not the I'm boss of Spidey. I'm office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind, Norman Osborne. Alright, so in the next episode I'll talk more about what I want to do for the future. Uh, until then, I'm going to show you these uh, bases that just popped up. I'm, I did those off camera, so those will be done next episode, as well as some more of the research bases, I believe. Maybe that's not this next episode, I don't remember. But anyway, we'll see you in the next one, guys.